people have been asking me for a summary of what's going on with the Julia Wendell situation. So I decided today I'm going to do one. I'll start right from the first day that I got involved and started paying attention more to the story um, and walk you guys through it. So I've made some cheat sheets so I can remember dates and things. And it looks like I started getting involved on February 19th. So that's where I'll begin. This has been such a long, crazy story, so I may get some dates mixed up or some content. I'll apologize in advance if I've got things out of order or not quite, but I will do my best. All right, buckle up, grab your popcorn. I'm gonna warn you in advance. This may take a few episodes. Um, if you're familiar with the beginning, then you can always just scroll to part two. I had been watching Julia Wendelt's uh, Instagram account for a while. She had made an account called I am Madeline McCann. And on February 19th was the first time that I actually posted about the situation. So Julia Wendelt is a 21 year old Polish woman who created an account and believed that she may be Madeline McCann. She gained about a million followers in no time and her story started going all over social media. It quickly became evident she was not Madeline McCann. Uh, there were some that believed, but a lot didn't. But it seemed like something was going on. No one quite knew what. So on February 21st, I posted a picture of Julia and her mom. So she had posted it on Instagram to say that they didn't look alike. And immediately everyone was commenting they were basically twins. And she quickly removed the post. If you want to check out the picture, you can check out my playlist down at the bottom, the Madeline McCann playlist. And if you scroll back to, I'm embarrassed to say, episode 107. Yes, I've posted that many clips on this. If you go to episode 107, you can see the picture of um, Julia next to her mom. February 22nd was the first time I spoke about Fia Johansson. She had come into the picture and was going to be helping Julia. February 22nd was also the day that Julia's family or family spokesperson, we're not sure, made their first official statement on the situation. If you want to go back and check the statement, you have to go to episode 104 again down in my playlist and you can read what her family posted on a Facebook group. Basically, to sum up that post, they said that she has mental health issues and that she's been doing this for years and she is absolutely their daughter and no one else. On February 27th, it then became apparent that Fia Johansson was now going to be Julia's spokesperson. Basically, Julia made a post and said, if you have questions or comments, they're going to be going to Fia and she's going to be releasing any information that I have or that comes out in the near future. Head to part two.